You just performed some exploratory data analysis and built a simple linear model using base R's LM function. You were able to see how the fuel efficiency for these cars is distributed and to get an idea of whether you will be able to train an accurate model. Now it's time to bring out a more powerful and flexible set of tools for predictive modeling. We are going to use the carrot package in this course and the first thing we are going to practice is splitting your data into a training set and a testing set. It is best practice to hold out some of your data for testing in order to get a better estimate of how your models will perform on new data, especially when you use very powerful machine learning techniques. Linear regression doesn't really fall into that category, but we are going to practice this anyway. Carrot has functions that help you specify training and testing sets. And you can create these so that they balance some characteristic in your data set. For example, the code here takes an input data set and puts 80% of it into a training data set and 20% of it into a testing data set. It chooses the individual cases so that both sets are balanced in aspiration types. Why, why are we bothering with this? The point of holding data back from the model training process is to have something to test that model on. We want to be able to estimate how well our model will perform on new data. And the best way to do that is to use data that was not an input to training the model. Holding out testing data allows you to assess if your model is overfitting. It's also possible to divide your data into three partitions as you build, choose, and assess models. And we'll talk about this later in the course. Once you have a training data set, you can train a model using that data set. In Carrot, you specify models using the train function with details of what kind of model it is and in what way you want to train it. We're going to start with method equals none in train control, as you see here. This means we're telling Carrot, just train the model one time on the whole training set. Once your model is trained, you can evaluate how well the model is performing. In this course, we're going to use the yardstick package for that. It's developed by the same person as Carrot, fellow data camp instructor Max Kuhn, and functions from this package will give us metrics to measure how well our models are doing. Okay, it's time. Let's try some examples where you train a linear regression and random forest model on our fuel efficiency data.